We are, we're against Keldeo, right? Just, yes. just straight up Keldeo hate. We're embracing it. Yeah. Anti-Keldeo gang. All right. Down with Keldeo. Alright guys, today we're going to do a tier list of the mythical Pokemon, so this will be a bit of a longer one, but we're going to determine which ones Indigo and I think are some of the best. And some of them will probably end up in that D kind of trash tier, so, you know, no hard feelings if they get left down there, but not all Pokemon were created equal, so let's get on into it. Indigo, you got any opening words? Uh, forewarning, we might hate some Pokemon that you love. <laughs> Alrighty! <Don't> hate <laughs> us for it, but... We can't control your emotions, <laughs> so do whatever you want. What? That's all we need right there. That just, that basically emphasizes what we do here. Let's get ourselves onto it. So first Pokemon up is Mew. Where do you think it belongs, Indigo? Oh, Mew. I mean, it's kind of like the genetics for all Pokemon in a way. It is. It's kind of the OG, you know, mythical, you know, the whole truck debacle back in the day was pretty crazy and so you know this one it's kind of a tougher one i don't know i mean it i want to put it in s so bad but it's the first one i don't know well so let me ask you this are we going off of like strength are we going off of iconic or are we doing just just kind of you know what we're feeling when we get to that pokemon it's complicated so pay attention feeling because I mean, strength is a way we could do it, but I feel like a more interesting way is to think about, like, their impact and, like, do we like their design and, you know, all of that. Well, I mean, if it's impact, that's going, like, straight S, no? Lore-wise. True. Let's put it at S. I'm putting it at S. You put it at S? I, I'm going to go with A, so I, I think this goes high A if you're going S. Because we'll also, like, we'll, we'll count this as, like, you know, left to right as well. Like, let's say we rank Darkrai. That means Mew is higher than Darkrai. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, uh, I'm going to put it high A for right now. You know, this is subject to change. But up next is Darkrai. Darkrai, I think, is pretty cool. You know, I think he's definitely deserving of either A or S. You know, he's really, really cool. He had the cool kind of side quest in the event back in, you know, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. And overall, just kind of a sick looking Pokemon. But what do you think? Yeah, I think the mystery behind him and like his, his form is so cool. And like, I don't know. I mean, have you seen him with legs though? That is, that it, he looks weird with legs because he has But legs. let me ask you this. He doesn't have legs. But he does. Does he? Yeah. He, they're like, I know he's floating, but they like come out into like these stick things. These like shadow S stick things. Stick things? Yeah. Bro, if this man has that. legs, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. They're just like little shadowy stick legs. Dude, all right. Um... B. Uh, I, I mean, I feel like that's a little harsh. I'm gonna, I, I'm probably gonna be floating around that A a whole lot, and that's kind of what I'm worried about doing, just because I don't want to just stay there and be like everything's A, you know. <sighs> I'm gonna go high B, but I think it's 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 more of a minus A, but I'm gonna go a high B. You have to be a harsh critic. I, I am not harsh, but on this next one, I'm definitely gonna be harsh. I think just basic Shaman is definitely D tier. He's boring. Yeah, he's kind of boring. He's cute, but he's kind of boring. Yeah, and I mean, he's just infinitely better on the next pick with Sky yeah. Shaman, right? Put, put, we both put agree on D? Yes, D. All right. Can you believe that? You see what he did? Sky Shaman, though. Sky Shaman. How is, we looking? Is pretty cool. Um, is he S, though? He is definitely not S. He's, okay. Is he higher than Mew, then? He's not higher than Mew. For me. I think he's pretty much on par with, with Darkrai. Yeah, I agree. I think a solid B. Okay. Are we putting him above Darkrai or below? No, below Darkrai. Okay. All right. And then up next, the god himself, Arceus. How are we oh. feeling on him? Oh. I mean... I feel like he has to go S. I agree. Put him at S. I mean... Put him I was, at S? I was, trying to, I was trying to justify putting him lower, but it's Arceus, like... It's Arceus, but I I mean, just everything to do with, like, the plates and everything to where you can change yeah. his typing is really cool. You I know, know all, that was, like... All the lore is pretty neat. His his ability was, like, Terra typing before... Yeah. Terra, OG Terra typing. Before terrestrialization was a thing, like... Sure. Um, yeah. Smack him. S. All right. Straight into S. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. 
Up next, Victini, the victory Pokemon. The victory Pokemon. What are we thinking? I... I think this is definitely a defeat for the victory Pokemon. Oh, at dang. D is what I think. D. Victini's boring. The event sucked back in the day, like on what, black and white and black and white yeah. too? The event was okay. It wasn't crazy. I never got- You go out to like some random island. I never got Victini, so I never played with Victini ever. Dang. Put him at D. Wait. <laughs> Just go. I Put agree. him at D. You're okay. <laughs> uh, above or below Shaman? Below. Oh, wow, the hate. Well, we you know how you feel about this it. next one. <laughs> Don't blame the hate on me. I was just joking around. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, we know how you feel about this next one. Oh, dang. Uh, so I'm assuming this is going straight D, because you really don't like Keldeo, judging by from one of those earlier videos. Hey, yeah, it's D for me, but it's D. I don't, I don't hate it. It's just like forgettable for me. It's very forgettable. I don't think there's a whole lot of really redeeming factors with Keldeo. It's fine, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure it got its own movie, didn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Did I watch it? It is fine. No. no. Yeah. All right. Well, straight to D. I assume this is pretty much the bottom tier, right? Yeah. Or what might be kind of fun, I add a, add a row below. Trash. No. Trash. Sorry, Keldeo. Oh. You belong in the trash tier. Jesse, you kissed my mother right here. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Garbage. Dang. All right, Keldeo 2.0. Higher tier trash, I assume. I guess. I I don't know why there's two forms. I guess he has a second form in a way. He he does. It basically like he he kind of went like Super Saiyan and gets like extra abilities and stuff. It's fine, right? But it's yeah. nothing like insane. Yeah. Higher trash is valid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I believe this one is Melodia. No. Melodia. Meloetta. An annual an annual meeting. I believe this one is Meloetta. What yes. do you think of this one? I mean, I like. It, it didn't have a huge impact on the game and like i i know there's a weird way to obtain it in the new games because in Vi scarlet and violet uh you can catch a lot of the old legendaries but there's like a weird way where you have to like go to a certain location spin around sometimes uh bring out your camera app on your phone in the game and then take a picture or something like that so it's like hitting it's, the konami code that's yeah, way too complicated it's it's very strange uh, I don't think it's trash, though. I believe it and its other form right next to it. I feel like we can group them. I feel like they're in D. How do you feel? I mean, I was falling asleep while you were explaining this, how to just get it. I think that's kind of convoluted and... It's, it's probably better than like, you know, remember back in like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire when you just literally went to like some mystic portal yeah. and got your legendaries? Yeah. That sucked. Not a huge fan of that. I like actual events, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to bump this above D. I think it belongs in a C, but I'm not especially a huge fan of this Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll get bumped down to higher D once we start seeing some C Pokemon, but yeah. that that's kind of what I'm feeling. Okay, let's go with that. Which one's going higher than the other? Mm, I like the original form better, so... So, let's see. Sounds good. All right, we're putting him in C tier. Next up is Genesect. Ooh, what do Genesect. you think? Didn't he have his own movie as well? Or was he just in he, a movie? He did. Oh. I think he was in a movie. I mean, it's like a mechanized bug. That's so cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Isn't it? it I believe it's a fossil, isn't it? Maybe. Like, it's a fossil that was brought back and made into, like, you know, like, a, like cybernetic and stuff. I don't remember. I did not watch. I could be 100% tripping. We'll show it on the screen here if we're correct or not. I didn't know. Why. But well, if it is, that means it's basically like the OG paradox. Yeah. Right? Because it's kind of like a past Pokemon being brought into the future. Yeah, that's true. That might be kind of cool. Maybe that was like a prelude and maybe in the future they'll do something with him. Hmm. How much you want to bet? What do you think, though? Where where does he belong? For me, he belongs in B tier. I think I agree with you there. There is just... This is a flat B. It's yeah. not anything crazy, but it's nothing that's garbage either. Yeah. I think it's just as middle of the road as possible. I agree. Uh, next up, the time Pokemon Ooh. Celebi. What do you think? Had its own movie. I, I think if it's not S, it's A. I feel. I was going to say Celebi's definitely an S. I okay. love that movie. That's okay. probably my number one movie. Okay. But overall, like, Celebi's so sick. I like it a lot. 
think about it, that whole movie was so awesome. You know, once we start getting into some of like the later ones that I see down the list, you know, maybe it'll get some competition that bump it down today. But I love Celebi. I agree. It's going to S. Have awesome. you seen that meme that's like the lettuce on a McChicken and it's the like shriveled up shell- <laughs> Celebi? <laughs> it is. It's shell- <laughs> It's not yes. like, is it the Burger King foot lettuce? Yes, number 10. <laughs> Burger King foot lettuce. I agree. S. Burger King foot Celebi. Burger King foot Celebi, yep. <laughs> All right, okay. on to the next one. What do you think of these? Whatever they are. <laughs> what are they? Shows how much I Blaze? care. What are I, they? I couldn't tell you. Wait, I Rock can't see. Crystal Girls. Crystal Girls. Starts with an S. So swim, swami. Sl- slippy. Slappy, Simmon, Salmon, Simmons. So next up is Diancy and Mega Diancy. They have their sure. own movie as well, I believe. Um, I think they're pretty cool. I know they get a lot of hate, I feel, for some reason. But Do I they? think they're pretty cool. I just don't know anything about them. I don't think I remember ever really knowing anything about these two. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I barely knew their names. The the names out now are in my head, and they sound familiar with Diancy, but I couldn't tell you too much about these two at all. I mean... And so I'm not a huge fan of them, but I wouldn't put them in trash, yeah. right? I, I mean, it has a mega evolution. It's pretty cool and pretty powerful, I feel. I think okay. they go in C, along with Meloetta. I'm going to agree with you at C. Okay, right next to Meloetta. Are we making the mega, I assume, above or below? Um, Above. Both of these two? And is this above or below? Um... Above. Regular Diancy above or below? Above. Sounds yeah. good. Next up is Hoopa. Hoopa. And are we, car- are we counting Unbound form, I'm assuming? Well, they're going to, I think they're going to be different. Are we ranking those the same? Um, they're pretty I mean, different for me. I guess, yeah. Like, that's the difference between, like, I think, like, a Zora and a Zora arc, right? Yeah. I think Zora arc is much cooler and probably stronger than a Zora, so they'd be ranked different. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what I think. Yeah, I mean, regular Hoopa is kind of mischievous and like a little, a little, a little, uh, what was I gonna say? A little devious. Sure. Um, it's kind of boring. But I mean, it's supposed to be like its form, just like not, not unleashed, of course. Sure. Um, if we're going separate, then I feel like we should do regular Hoopa at C. How C? Do you feel? Yeah. I think regular Hoopa is regular Poopa. I think it's garbage. <laughs> Regular poopa. Dang. That's what I think. I, I'm just, I'm not a fan. You you told me to be kind of harsh. I that think is just poopa, kind of boring. Okay. You know, I, 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 I'm going to be a little biased. I, I enjoy cooler looking mons, right? Obviously, you know, like I'm, you know, I'm just kind of biased if they have cooler powers and stuff like that. And I think the Unleashed is really cool and pretty strong. Whereas just normal hoopa, it's just kind of there until it unleashes, right? That's what I think. But it, I mean, I think it's trash. You think it's C, so I think that goes smack dab and D. What do you think? Okay, compromise. Let's go D. Sounds good. And we'll go higher D because that's kind of where you thought it would be. And then Unleashed. Where do you think Unleashed goes? Um, I like Unleashed a lot. I think it's just like embodiment of power and like mm-hmm. how it can like travel space. All the portals and, and stuff. Yeah, the portals of mm-hmm. space and time, like arms and stuff like that. I think it's A. I think it's A. Okay, Sounds I agree. Good. I think it's below me though. Yeah, definitely. Cool. All right, next up i believe this is vac- vac- volcanion yes volcanion hmm. what do you think of that fire water that pretty is... interesting typing there yeah unique type um i feel like it didn't have a big impact on how i played the games or how i viewed the mm. anime or the game but i like i think it's just a better heatran if i'm honest with you yeah it's it's and it, not super memorable yeah I, its design is pretty cool i mean it's different it has like a big old onion ring on its back or something you know but Whatever that is, yeah. yeah. Kind of looks like a chew toy. Yeah. I don't know. It's very forgettable. I think it goes... I don't know. Where do you think it goes? Uh, either low B or high C. Like I was pretty thinking middle. C. All right. Yeah. I think we go C. It goes in the middle. All right. Up next are these two. Couldn't tell you what they are. Not a fan. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> What are they? Okay, they are Magirna. And the other one. And Magirna Shiny. Too, the electric boogaloo. <laughs> shiny Magirna. I don't know why they put Shiny in this type of thing. I'm not sure. Um, forgettable. Yep. Trash. Just like I said, kind of trash. Going straight trash. into the bottom. A bo- but is it Keldeo bad? It's not Keldeo bad. So they go above Keldeo. All right. Keldeo, we're booting you down even further. Sorry, but not sorry. The Keldeo stands are going to come at me again. Who cares? Whatever. Okay. All right. Next. Next up, this one. Still couldn't tell you what this one is either. Marshadow. 
Marshadow ah, is so marshmallow. <laughs> Marshadow is so cool. Um, I feel like it like travels through its shadow, like you know how like Gengar and stuff like cool. does like that. Mm-hmm. Um, There's that dude in My Hero that does that. Yeah, I think he's really cool. I mean, you may not know, but I feel like he's pretty cool. I think he's in like the B category. Is he better than Darkrai? Um, like that's what this seems like his baby Darkrai. Kind of in a way, yeah, I could see that. But I don't think he's better than Darkrai. But I think he's B. Right below Darkrai, you think, or do you want below um, the squad? Uh, below the squad. So it's the okay. final. Yeah. Sounds this good. One. Right. Okay, next we have Zerora. Zerora. I can't say that right, but Zerora. Zerora. Uh. Electric type. I don't know. I feel like it had a movie, didn't it? Or am I mistaking somebody? I don't know. Forgettable. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I know of this Pokemon through Pokemon Unite, and generally it's pretty fun to play. It's a lot of fun. There aren't a ton, to my knowledge, of like electric types, and so it's usually a pretty fast, speedy brawler type, Um, and I've had a couple of matches at it, and it's a lot of fun. You know, you probably enjoy it a lot if, you know, you played a couple of matches in, you know, Pokemon Unite, and it's pretty fun. I, I wouldn't put in anything crazy. But I, yeah. I definitely don't think it's S. I don't think it's A. It's probably, you know, B tier, probably in the higher. But, you know, whatever you decide to place it at, you know, it will I agree. It. I mean, I, I, looking at its design, it's more it's more unique than some other Pokemon, I feel. So I, I like it. I think it goes mm. B. Sounds good. So we'll put that right in the middle of B. Okay. Awesome. Gearhead. The Pokemon Go Pokemon that, I'll be frank, nobody cares wow. about. Wow. So next we have Melmetal and... No, next we have Meltan and Melmetal, the evolution of Meltan. I like I like Melmetal. Mm-hmm. I think it's it's interesting. It's a unique Pokemon. It's like ears and like little little head. I think it's cool. But I don't think it goes above like any of the other iconic ones like Dark Rye and B tier. Like Melmetal is cool and he had a lot to do with the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon anime. Um, but okay. I think it's a solid like C tier Pokemon. Okay, yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking is just high C tier. Be strong. Um, yeah. Frankly, like, cause I, didn't, I haven't watched it. I'm not fully caught up on the show. I would say that, you know, as far as I'm aware, this was just kind of a Pokemon Go gimmick, you know, so I'm not like super keen on it. But I I mean, I don't think it's awful, right? It, it almost yeah. to me looks like it wanted to be a Reggie clone, right? It pretty much, you know, the, the evolved form looks like, you know, what Registeel would probably look like if it, you know, was more Regirock at one point. It's pretty much the same build in my opinion but mm. I, I agree with you probably higher C you know are we kind of yeah. going in order like is the little one I assume kind of lower tier and then the, the stronger one kind of higher tier yeah I guess so yeah sounds good All right up next the wish Pokemon Jirachi what do you Jirachi. think of Jirachi well I'm a little biased because the Jirachi movie is probably one of my favorite Pokemon movies it's fire I think it goes S I feel yeah. it's an S S tier <sighs> I like you a lot. Jirachi's awesome. I love Jirachi, especially the movie was so sweet. That's when, like, I think one of the few times in the shows and the movies we get to see, like, kind of Flygon in action. It was yeah, awesome. I agree. I, I loved it. Sweet. I think we're agreeing on S. Is it above Celebi? No. All right. Looks good to me. All right. On to the next. Monkey. <laughs> I don't know why the monkey with the scarf is a thing. Monkey. Because it's the same thing. It just has a scarf. Because I'm, I think it's because of the movie, but I don't know. Um, Zerud. It's like including like Ash Gren- Greninja in there. Basically. Zerud. Um, Zerud Standstorm. <laughs> I was just about to say. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> you got to put that in Zerud. You fellas been doing a bit of boozing, have you? Sucking back on grandpa's old cough medicine? Um, forgettable to me, but I think it's still powerful Pokemon. So I wouldn't put it as trash like Keldeo. I would put it at D probably. But I think that might be a case of like newer hype. Like newer type like of, Yeah, I feel like an a lot of people hate the newer designs. I feel like maybe it'll grow on us. I don't but think it looks like now, a bad design, right? Like, yeah. I, I don't think it's awful. I just, you know, it, it's fine. I just don't know too much about it. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Like, I would think, I personally, if we're going purely off designs, I think it's better than anything we got in C tier. It. I think this could have, you know, 
probably beats out Marshmallow and uh, uh, Genesec, right? Mm-hmm. But outside of that, I don't think it beats out the rest. Hmm. So where would you put it? I think right here, right? Middle B. Okay, let's do that. What do you think of that, though? Do you, should, I, should I bump it down? Do you want it there? No, I, 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 I support your decision. It's a good, it's, it's a good decision. Sound logic? Mm-hmm. Sounds Sound good. Mod- goopy. What is this one? That's Goopy. Oh, that's Goopy. It's, I don't even think we know anything about it yet because it's in the ep- it's in the epilogue for the DLC for for Scarlet and Violet oh, but we it? don't have the ep- we don't have the epilogue yet um starts with the letter P I'm pretty sure because I saw it on the list when we did the P name hold on does that mean it's really strong then I think so but I f- it has to do something with paradox Pokemon I believe really yeah I but I don't know exactly what well then because we don't both don't know about it I personally think it goes straight in the trash why is it on this list okay put in trash <laughs> Alright. It's not gonna trash. go below Keldeo because we're standing firm on Keldeo, but it's going right smack dab in the yeah. middle. Okay. We are we're against Keldeo, right? Just yes. just straight up Keldeo hate, we're embracing it. Yeah. Anti Keldeo gang. Alright, down with Keldeo. Okay. Right. Next on to the final stretch. It is Deoxix. Deoxix. Freaking moron. Deoxys. 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 I love Deoxys a lot. Mm-hmm. I think it's cool that it has an attack form, a speed form, a defense form. I think that's so cool. I believe, I don't know if it's S. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with S or A, but I believe it's A. Hi, A. What are you for? I think only one of them is S. The rest of them are A. Which one? Is I, which, oh. That's a lovely accent you have. New Jersey? I think... The Deoxys attack form is nuts. It's so good. It raises both its attack and special attack, if I'm not mistaken. And back in the day, that was pretty insane. Like, I I believe it had, like, insanely fast speed. I know the speed form is probably yeah. the fastest Pokemon, but attack form Deoxys is pretty insane. Mm-hmm. Like, it's it, both its attack and special attack and speed are extremely fast. It's, you know, just super, super strong, you know, pretty, just great Pokemon. Pokemon overall. The rest of them are good, right? They have mythical Pokemon stats, but it's no attack form. That's what I think. Okay, let's go with S attack and the rest A. Are we going above Mew? No, Hoopa. No. No? Mm, above Hoopa, I feel. All okay. of them. Looks good to me. All right, okay. last two. Fion. Last two. Fion. Trash. Yeah, the worst Manaphy. Yeah, Garbage. it's just worst Manaphy. It's not, not it's, Kelvin bad, but it's, it's awful. I don't, I don't understand why it's a thing, I feel. I don't know. I don't really know but either trash. like i remember back in the day i was playing with like one of those like cheat like you know, remember those old yeah, ds game cartridges shark. that would like cheat yeah the game sharks or whatever and you would you would plug yeah. it in and have your like uh diamond or pearl like, or whatever plugged into it well so yeah, you would was, like, get manaphy eggs way. and that was the only yeah. way to get it yeah. so i mean that's the only attachment i have to it i think manaphy is just better i have more of an attachment with manaphy from the uh the mystery dungeon games mm-hmm. but outside of that meh what do you think of manaphy yeah. manaphy I, I like it. I like its movie. Um, it, but it's very middle good. of the ground for me. I think it's a C Pokemon. I think I can get behind that. I also love the movies as well. It's one of the only times we get to see like Pokemon Ranger stuff, you know. Um, I think that was also when we were starting to get advertised like fourth gen Pokemon, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Like we were seeing like Chadot and stuff like that in that movie, which were yeah. you know not revealed yet. So that was pretty cool. But Manaphy's fine. You know, there yeah. it was a good addition in like the you know the Pokemon Sky game and everything like that. But mm-hmm. just okay. Um, where are we thinking in C? Like, obviously, C is pretty stacked. Mm. Where you think? I think it's above all of them. Really? Okay, so yeah. top of C tier. Mm-hmm. I think I can get behind that. Now, we're currently at the end of the list. This is it. Do you think anything should be shifted around or moved or bumped down or up or, you know, any which way? <sighs> Looking at it, I feel like we made a mistake putting me at A. I think it should be S. I think I can get behind that as well. You know, it's it's definitely better than the Deoxys forms. Yeah. You know, just off of pure like I, I don't think it's stronger than them, but I think pure lore wise, you know, what's yeah. like how important Mew is and everything like that. I definitely think Mew should should be an S tier Pokemon. Yeah, and how cute it is. I like it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, I think something has to be done about the C tier. It's definitely pretty stacked. Obviously, we meant it to be kind of middle of the road, but I think some of these might be able to be bumped down to D tier. What do you think? I agree. I think Melmetal and Melton, I feel like all of those are 
kind of like D-ish tier when you're looking at the rest of them. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I feel like Meloetta could be bounced down. I think they're strong. Mel Metal is strong, but Meloetta is like kind of like mysterious. Really for no, yeah, there's no reason for it to be that, you know, hard to get. Sure. All right. Yeah. After that change, I, I mean, I'll be honest, I'm feeling pretty good. The only one that I'm kind of looking at that might be able to be bumped up is Darkrai, mm. but that's not necessary. Yeah. I think he leads off B tier pretty well as well. That's like an 89 and that then is A true. is a 90, right? True. I think we should stick with our guns with Dark Right as B. I think so. And, you know, if, if people in the comments disagree with us, they can always let us know. I'm sure they will. Yeah, they probably will hate this list. They're probably going to think oh, we're stupid. Of course. <laughs> and that's fine. I am the stupidest Pokemon player you'll ever meet. But I enjoy it. That's all that matters. That's true. All right. Well, let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Thanks for playing, Indigo. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Catch you guys later. Bye.